Hello everybody and welcome back to Letton Farm. It's a very busy day again today because what we need to do is go over to our field just over here, just beyond the sheep field, and get it ready for the next crop. The other thing I need to do is actually to continue with the sugar beet harvest. The problem with the sugar beet harvest is it's very slow. So I think we'll go over here to begin with, just to show you exactly what there is left. Uh, I am fairly reluctant to pay for a contractor to come in here and do it for me because I don't have much money. We only have £1,692 left and I think they're going to charge something very similar to that to be able to get it done properly with a big machine. So I think we're just going to eat away at this every now and then. Uh, it's alright because the crop is going to be here for some time. It's not going to start to rot. Uh, it's only been here for... it's been ripe for about a week I think. So yeah, it's not a big issue. But you can see we have this left, so it does need to be harvested at some point, just as as and when we have the time. So hopefully a bit later, once I've finished the, the work over here, we'll be able to continue there, maybe get a full trailer load, and that'll be some income. I just need to basically stay above £5,000, because that's what I need every week to be able to repay the mortgage. Uh, if you're interested in the mortgage payments, I think we have £45,000 left to repay, so still a fair chunk. As for this field over here, it's just had a crop of wheat or barley in. Certainly a cereal crop. I think it was wheat. Um, but yes, I, I think really in here we should either do second wheat or we should do something like canola. I guess I could do sunflowers, but the thing with sunflowers is I'd have to get a different header. And I don't know if there is actually a class header which would fit. Or maybe just, you know, a capello header or something. Um... I suppose it, yeah, it would fit, but the problem is the price. I think it would be in the region of, well, new, £10,000 possibly. Even that may be a bit optimistic. So yeah, I want to really try and just stick with crops which I can actually harvest without having to buy more equipment. Um, but we'll see how we go. We'll just have to put a crop in and um, yeah, hopefully I'm happy with it. Anyway, let me just open this gate again. Of course, the, the rope is around this side on this gate. I think everything is neat around here. Sorry for the farm tour, just trying to work a few things out. I also do want to get a pony at some point. Possibly not today though, because I'm a bit tight on money. But very soon, it would be nice to get a pony. So, yeah, I think everything is looking okay. Let's go over here. I'll jump the fence, the gate. And we're going to jump into the Zeta 4911 tractor, which has 32 litres of diesel in it. So that's plenty to do this first job of today. Now as for the seed drill, I'm going to have to find some seed for that. I think we do have something in there, possibly. Uh, but yeah, it's not going to be too difficult to be able to afford that, I am hoping. I think we did have some seed bags lying around anyway, so possibly if it's not in the workshop, there might be something in the, uh, the back shed there. So with a bit of luck, nothing is actually going to have to be bought. It would be good, because I really don't have the money for it. But if we do have to, then that's just part of it. I could always just fund it with the sugar beet. Swap some sugar beet for some seed. Sounds like a fun deal. Right, yeah, so it's got a fairly good working with this thing, the Matty Ferguson 23. I really don't think it's going to take too long. And because we are just putting in some oil seed rate, we don't have to plough it or anything. You could actually just direct drill it, but we don't have a direct drill, so that is the reason why I have to just break up the soil first. Uh, but I think, yep, it's going to be a fun and fast job. As for replacing tractors, I know that I really should get something a bit bigger than the 675. I can't afford it at the moment, but it only has to be slightly larger. Which is the reason why I haven't done it yet, uh, along with the money problem. Um, what I could do is sell three tractors and buy one decent one. Or one big one, I should say, because these are decent. Especially the 135. Um, but it's just nice to have quite a few older tractors because then you can always keep one attached to a certain implement. You don't have to mess around swapping the implement over and stuff. It's just easier that way. But uh, yeah, having said that, the 675 is the tractor which I would replace if I was going to replace one. Just because that one is the uh, the main horsepower, or the big horsepower tractor. Technically the main tractor. Um, and yes, it's uh, obviously the only one which doesn't have such a sentimental value to it. For us, it possibly does do to others, but we started off with the 135, and then this thing was um, Gary Turner's. 
So, I guess this has a sentimental value to him. Not too sure. Uh, so that's why I'm holding on to this thing. But yeah, the 675, I just bought it, used, and uh, I don't know the history of it. It's just here to do work. Having said that, it's a very nice tractor, and it would be a shame to replace it, but we might have to at some point. We might just have to go for something a, a bit larger. Anyway, I think replacing tractors will be quite a way in the future. It's not going to be in the next couple of days, but at some point we will be changing the 675 for a tractor which is either four-wheel drive and a bit larger or much larger. I, I don't think I'm going to go for another two-wheel drive though. Both of these two vintage tractors are two-wheel drive, I think, so we don't need to get any more. The end is near. I'm talking about the cultivating, thankfully. Uh, so yeah, what we're going to do after this is bring in the drill. I think I might use it on the same tractor. Might as well use it on here. And yeah, I'm 99% sure that we do have some seed already. Okay, so we've got a tiny piece left to do. I'll try to go as close to the edges as possible. There might be a few bits of stubble left. That's all good. Yep, so we're going to put some oilseed rape into here, and I'm going to probably fertilise it straight away as well. The reason for this is because it's, it's going to have to be done at least twice, possibly even three times, and it's just going to help you get going. So, yeah, I've put an application of fertiliser on the crop. There are some fancy drills that put the fertiliser and seed in together, but I'm quite a long way off affording one of those. Okay, right. The trees are nice in the field. They're, they're a bit of an obstruction. But at the same time, they make the field look good. I think uh, they're, not, they're not too uh, invasive. Just got to go around them. Sheep! I have three sheep now. If you're interested, if you're just catching up on these, these vlogs. Uh, yes, I, I have three. I purchased one, I think it was a couple of days ago. Right, so I'm going to put this just here. There we go. And, yeah, that's completely blocked in currently. So I jump into the 675. What do we have on the back? We've got the trailer. I should drop that off as well. I'd love to actually make a, a designated area for the tractors, but I don't think I have the space for it. Not at this stage, anyway. And also, I've just noticed, because it is this time of year, it is spring, uh, it's the perfect growing weather for the grass. So you can see that that's growing that much in just a couple of days. I'm going to have to get my whiz-around mower out again. It's good fun. Right, uh, that's empty. That is empty, but I do have... What do we have here? I think that's seed. Pretty sure that is seed. So I'm going to have to get that out as well. In fact, actually, yeah, I should use this tractor with the pallet fork. Unless I do have some bags in the barn. If there are some bags in the barn, I'll use those because they'll be much older. Right, let's just... Oh, I've completely blocked it in. Um, there we go. So I do have one. I have no idea how long it's going to last, but at least it's something. I'll go and put this into the seed drill. Okay, yeah, so that's not a great deal. We're going to have to get some more. Like I say, I think that is seed. So we'll come back to that in a minute or two. Uh, right, so back onto the Z's tractor. Hello, sheep. 
and we'll hitch on to the drill, get it all ready to go. I've said so many times that I want to replace the drill, but really, I can't afford it, and it just does the job so well. I don't think I'll ever get something with this working width for such a low price. Um, I'd have to just pay so much money for the same, well, a very similar thing. It would be run off the PTO as well, so chances are it would consume more fuel. Yeah, that really isn't full at all. But it's something I might get halfway down the field. It had to be used up. Here we go. Now this may take some time. Like I say, it isn't a very wide working width. So just slow and steady and we'll get there eventually. But it's looking unlikely that I'm going to be able to get into the sugar beet field since I still have to do the fertilizer as well. So yeah, it's taking a bit of time. It does take time though. It takes time to cultivate a field and get it prepared and uh, ready for the next crop. And then of course we've got to put the crop in and get that going. It's empty. It was something though. Right, I'm going to go and park it over here. Let's just open this up. I should be able to just open the big bag over the sea drill and put in the amount that I require. Good. Okay, that should do. So I need the pallet fork, which is actually situated just next to the workshop. Just here. And then, well, I was hoping to actually get past the trailer. But looking at it, it's going to be difficult. It might be possible. If I just tilt the pallet fork down. Yes, okay. So that looks like fertilizer. Yeah, I would say that's fertilizer. In which case, we don't, as far as I'm aware, have any seed. But we do need the fertiliser very soon, so that can stay here. Is it me, or is that a different product? I think it might be. That could be seed. Let's open it up. I think it's going to be very difficult to do this without getting the trailer out. But I did the first one. Good news everyone, it is seed. Which means that I can at least use a bit more of what we already have instead of buying more. But again, I think it's not going to be enough. It is less than half full. But it is something. It is something else to put into the, uh, the seed drill. And then once all this has been consumed, we can see where to go from there. Whether I should buy just a small a uh, packet, a bag, or a full size big bag. I'm hoping though, this will be enough. Hopefully I didn't burst it. Please don't be burst. Okay, so that drill is now filled. Yeah, anyway, as I was saying, hopefully we do have enough here. I really do hope that there is. Uh, but if it does mean just buying a small bag, it's fine. We'll be able to afford it. Let's crack on. Plenty to be doing. Uh, yes, I do want to finish it today though. And also if we do have time, hopefully we'll be able to put some fertiliser on here as well. And again, luckily we do have the fertiliser so we don't have to have another expense uh, today. We just need to make money. If you haven't figured it out by now, that's what I've been trying to do. But actually, if you think about where we are, I've done alright, because we, we already do have a house. I know there is a mortgage on it, but we do also have a house and a farm and all this equipment, which is actually owned by me. None of it is leased, so that's good. It all has a resale value. We also have sheep. And when I say sheep as well, we've got the wool from the sheep. So whatever that is currently worth, it's also something else that I will make money from in the future. So it's all right, we have a lot of assets.
done a bit, uh, but I have obviously now just run out of seed again. So it's now time to head over to the store to buy a big bag. I think, yeah, with the amount that I've actually covered there with half a big bag, or just less than half a big bag, uh, yeah, that's definitely going to mean a full one, or very close to a full one. So let's go. I think, yeah, we'll cut across this field. Is that gate shut? Yep, that's fine. The sheep shouldn't escape in the time I'm off over at the uh, store. They're busy feeding anyway, so that means that they are not producing a cunning plan on how to escape. Although, to be honest, it wouldn't take a genius to figure out how to escape. You just sort of walk through the gate. That, that would do nicely. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to have to transport this back just on the forks, which I don't like doing. It's only about 200 yards though, so it doesn't really matter too much. I forget their prices. I, I really don't know what it's going to cost to get a big bag of seed, but hopefully, hopefully it's less than a thousand. 900 pounds for 500 litres. 500 litres is definitely enough though. So that's alright, it's just the money. It was less than a thousand though, so that's that's a bonus. Right, uh, we must mine the traffic and not take them out with a bag. That would be something, if, if a car was wiped out by a flying seed bag. This is the only field which I really have to work in though, so I think probably tomorrow, if I, if I don't have anything else at all, I'll do some sugar beet, but with a bit of luck, there will be some other jobs around. Um, for example, we have had to do some work for the Youngs recently, so maybe there will be more, some more work for them, hopefully. Uh, I do like doing work for them, not certainly because they pay very well, but the jobs are also fairly simple and don't take very long to do. So it's always fun. Um, but uh, yeah, as I said, Mr Young, I don't know... I don't really know his history, but he doesn't seem a very good farmer. Although, to be fair, I'm not a very good one either. But anyway, yes, he has all the, the good equipment, except he tends to uh, crash it, so we just have the old stuff, but it's all in very good condition. I'm going to leave that there. We'll keep the engine switched off. I can just keep reversing underneath, letting a bit more seed go when I need it. And yeah, that's uh, as simple as that, really. So let's continue. I really want to get the fertilizer on today, though. At this rate, it's not going to happen. Let's crack on. Well, it's almost finished, I've just run out of seed again, so I have to go and refill. Um, but it's just been great to have the supply there, you just have to keep driving underneath it and then letting the bottom of the bag go to fill it up 100 litres or so. And then, uh, yeah, just continue. So it's been very easy, very simple. Here we go. Love it. This setup is good, even though it isn't very wide. And the fuel uh, consumption is really low as well, so it's hardly costing me a penny in, uh, in fuel. It's a good system, but for a big field it would be... Well, yeah, you just could never do it. It would be ridiculously slow. That's this part of the field completed. And now for the upper half, should be just a tiny bit left here. Yep. And I think anything which we've got left in the drill is fine, it can just stay in the drill. Providing the farm doesn't get flooded again, it will just keep, it should just keep in there. Before, when I did that, it did get flooded. The uh, the drill went under the water completely, it was fully submerged, and uh, yeah, the seed went to a pulp. A lovely, sloppy pulp. But really, it shouldn't flood again. I'm not saying it's not going to, but we are on a... This is a flood area. It's a floodplain, so it could potentially flood. It's something we just have to live with. I've done what I can do. I've dug a ditch out, 
very, very, very. Um, but really, there's not much you can do. We could build six foot walls around the farm, but that would be incredibly expensive. Right, we're finished. So, well, I, I say we're finished, we've finished the drilling. I do want to do the fertilizer as well. So let's put this under cover. We'll put it under in the workshop, I think. That's going to be the best place to keep it dry. And then we can bring the other fertilizer bag out and put that into the fertilizer spreader. We do just about have the time. Just before it goes dark. But really, fertilizing shouldn't be a very big job. Should be able to get it completed fairly quickly. This is my corn planter for the garden. As you can see, it's full of grain. Uh, this is my little rotavator in there. Is the oh, it's already full. There is the fertilizer spreader full of fertilizer. But I think it's going to take more than one load. I would say. I'll keep that on the back. Yeah, I'll keep it on the back. It's a good counterbalance for when I pick up this bag over here. Okay, that's through the loop. Now, just to bring the other tractor over here, drop off the seed drill, and attach to the, uh, the spreader. It's all very long-winded, having to swap it all over, but really, there's not an alternative to it. I'm just impressed that we've managed to get it all done today. And when it's fertilised as well, then yeah, that's going to be a massive job done. I should think by tomorrow that grass in there will have fully regrown. It's rapid. Right, don't want to block that in. Take that off, and there it is. It looks like it's almost full. I would say it is about 90% full. We have PTO as well. Yeah, not quite full. Give it a top up. Not going to be a great deal. But I have a feeling we're going to get through the entire bag. And we're ready to go. Let's get the field spread. Now the capacity of the fertilizer spreader is obviously much higher than the capacity of the seed drill. So we are going to technically consume it faster. But then again, the working width is much wider. So I don't know. I really don't know how much we need. We'll soon find out. We'll go by the working width. And the consumption. Well, that's consuming it slowly, and the working width is fairly wide, so that's fine. We should we should have enough. Finished. Right, well, that is quite a transformation. First thing this morning, that was just stubble, and now it's been cultivated, drilled, and even fertilised. So that is uh, a good day's work done, and we'll be able to uh, see the benefits of that very soon. But I'm pleased it's done. I didn't really want to do it over a number of days, because it is just, you know, it's a job that has to be done, but it's um, not the most of exciting jobs, I, I, I think we could probably say. Anyway, let's just park this in here. I'll put it so that I can put the other tractor in here as well, in case it rains overnight. And yeah, but it turns out we didn't need any more fertilizer. I was very surprised. But that's good. It means we have some left for next time. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. 
hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.